I think I'm lucky in that I don't feel competitive with other investors or other rich people. So I, I have a lot of friends who are tortured by it. Um, and they just, they have countless dollars at hand, but feel like they're, the goal line's always moving and they need to keep up with somebody else. So uh, I certainly look at it as what can I do with the money we have? And luckily we have all the stuff we want. And you get to this point where like in the beginning, I made a bunch of money and I bought houses for family and multiple houses for ourselves. And then my wife and I turn around and we're like, fuck, we're property managers. Like that's all we do now is like our inbox is like, Hey, this broke and this is happening. And what do we do? I was like, so we're just prisoners to our stuff right now. And then you start to realize, you know, we're fortunate enough to go on vacations, but we don't need to own that chateau. It's amazing. There's some incredible places in Europe where we love to spend time that you can rent. And then when you're done, you walk away from them. And so, you know, you can live luxuriously and then not have to own it. And luckily, we're also not into big boats. That's a great way to light money on fire. You know, I'm lucky that Crystal and I have been best friends since we met freshman year of college. We didn't date for 14 more years after that, but I'm lucky that we've grown up with this money together. And the thing that we did that I think more people should do is we sat down when it became clear we were going to make some money. And by the way, I didn't come up with this idea. I saw Evan Williams do it. When Evan Williams saw that he was going to make some money, he went out and started interviewing rich people and asking them for tips. And when I saw that he was doing that, um, like it was funny, the way I saw it once is I gave him a ride and he had this notebook and it flipped open to this page that just said, don't let anyone know your home address. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And he's like, oh, I've been out trying to get tips on, you know, from rich people. And somebody told me, don't let anyone know your home address. I was like, that is fascinating. So when it became clear, we are going to make some money. We just sat down with a bunch of people who, who had been through that process. And by the way, not just the successful people. We intentionally sat down with people whose marriages had completely dissolved, who had, whose lives looked like they had imploded, whose kids were assholes. Um, and, and we sat down to get the counter examples. They didn't know that. And so I'm definitely not going to use any names, but we were like, those people look like money fucked them up. Let's go sit with them for a drink and ask them a lot of questions.